In this exercise, an L4-L5 interbody fusion will be undertaken with contact fusion cages. As with other cages, contact fusion cages are not standalone implants, so they require additional posterior instrumentation. That can be either translaminar screws across the facet joints or alternatively a pedicle screw system. In this exercise, the ClickX system will be used. The implants needed are ClickX pedicle screws with a dual core and double thread, ClickX 3D heads. For demonstration purposes, they're colored purple and can be removed. However, for use in patients, they are gold-colored and, once applied, cannot be removed. ClickX 6mm rods and ClickX locking caps with an inner 3.5mm hexagonal screw. The instruments used in opening the pedicle are the USS Pedicle Awl, and the USS Pedicle Probe. First, the pedicle screws are inserted in the usual manner. The hole is started with the pedicle awl and completed with the pedicle probe. The depth of the pedicle is measured, ensuring at the same time that bone surrounds the pedicle hole. A screw of the appropriate length is inserted using the T-handled hexagonal screwdriver and the holding sleeve. As the pedicle screw is inserted, the holding sleeve is released. The screw is not fully inserted. In other words, a few millimeters are left between the screw head and the bone. The reamer for the click X is now placed over the screw head and the bone is removed. The reamer is angled 25 degrees in all directions. This ensures good clearance of bone to allow the click X 3D head to be attached to the pedicle screw. A similar procedure is undertaken in the other three pedicles. The laminectomy punch and the rongeur are used to prepare the bone and disc space. An appropriate amount of bone is carefully removed from the laminar and facet joints to allow adequate access to the disc space. Enough bone is taken out to ensure that the nerve roots can be retracted without too much tension. Epidural veins are coagulated with bipolar diathermy. The nerve root is retracted medially and the posterior annulus is opened using a sharp scalpel and cutting away from the nerve root. A pituitary rongeur is used to remove the disc. Of course, the anterior annulus is preserved. In a clinical situation, the end plates are then prepared with the square-ended curette. It's important not to remove the end plate, but to remove the cartilage to ensure that the end plate is clean and bleeding. To open the disc space, the disc space opener and the vertebral body spreaders are used. The 14 and 15 millimeter spreaders have been chosen for this exercise. The disc space is opened first with a small disc space opener, which is rotated to enlarge the intervertebral space. The opener is removed, and the smallest vertebral body spreader is inserted until the laser marks on the spreader are flush with the posterior edge of the vertebral body. Then the spreader is turned 90 degrees to spread the disc space and the handle is removed. 
Next, the spreader, one size larger, is introduced on the other side. Progressively bigger spreaders continue to be inserted from alternate sides until resistance from the remaining annulus is felt. The disk space has now been enlarged to its natural height. A radiograph should be taken at this stage to ensure the spreaders are in the correct position, which is the midpoint of the vertebral disk space. The contact fusion cage is available in seven sizes. The cage, which corresponds in size to the largest vertebral body spreader, is now connected to the holder. The cage functions as a spacer containing bone graft in order to achieve a bony fusion between the two vertebrae after healing. After removing the smaller spreader, the cage is inserted so that it is at least three to four millimeters below the posterior portion of the vertebral body. This cage is designed to be rotated 90 degrees. It must go clockwise. If not, it's difficult to turn the implant. If it's necessary to compact the graft, the sleeve is pulled back and the screw is tightened. The sleeve is then loosened and the implant holder removed. The vertebral body spreader is removed from the opposite side and the appropriate size contact fusion cage is inserted as shown before.